Okay, um, there should not be anything visible on stream just yet. Um, just going to flicker things back and forth, and we should be good to go then. And it occurs to me once again, I've completely forgotten that I have no way of seeing chat, so that'll be a moment. There should be video right about now. Fantastical. So we have ABC. Yes, it's it's it is absolutely half life. That's exactly what's going on here. Okay. So I'm huh. Right, so I mean to do that that way. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. U A B A start. Buck just happened. Oh my! All right, let's uh, see what Revengeance plays like. You guys actually want to see the intro cutscene, or shall I just skip it? Is there anyone here who actually wants to see the intro cutscene again? The code worked. It unlocked two. The tutorial is boring. We've come so far. We're on Revengeance. Everyone likes seeing the fucking... Everyone likes seeing the goddamn Metal Gear Wraith fight anyway, so might as well see how bad it can possibly be. And one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I want to know, apparently you can unlock the suit costume, and I don't know how to do that. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, I don't know how. I I, I can't, I, but you can. I saw a video of it. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. And we must remember that and a philosopher. Biden fucking loves his Japanese culture. Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. What is happening? Someone's blocking a lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! Hey, it's worth remembering the Jetstream Sam. Or Mr. Pixar Face. I said clear the road! We're authorized to use force if you do! I could a second, you know. Once we're done this, I will turn the volume back up. It's not that much louder to me, not much quieter to me, so it's... One, 
I guess, you know, you would think after a while of this game. Or they could at least shoot at him simultaneously. Yeah, that... Who was that? A cyborg. One of our competitors? Courtney, what is happening? We got hit, sir. A cyborg. Who's? Exit comes up unaffiliated. I'll notify all checkpoints. Get all money out of there. Yes, sir. Seriously, come on now. These aren't even badass cyborgs here. We are going to die. Stay calm. That reminds me, does the assistant live? I don't remember if the assistant lives or not. Because they have better protection than the Metal Gear, ostensibly. Which trope exactly? Which trope are you loving? Let's get this over with. Well. Alright, so let's pause this here and I'll turn up the sound, I guess? I'm gonna crank it up a bit, but not a ton. Is that a fucking gecko? You'll need to choose between light and heavy strikes to match the situation. Save yourself for what happened. What is going on? What? Right it. Answer me. Right it. <laughs> what? Take out those hostiles. What Holy fuck! Right it. Answer me. It is unlockable, I don't know how. Okay. I I don't think I can revengeance. I don't I don't think I can revengeance. <laughs> what? I'll try off stream. We're gonna go back to uh let's uh Let's go into a hard mode chapter four, shall we? I think that would be about perfect. What the? Oh, it's actually unlocked all the difficulties on everything. All this, okay. Anyway, last we were playing, we beat um, Monsoon, but in the meantime, I've actually gotten here in hard mode. You so. I'm impressed. The brains are in the server room undergoing training. Knock yourself out. Go nuts. I'm Everybody sorry, in. sir. Our business hours for the day are to correct. Watch out! They keep on coming! <laughs> <laughs> Get off! But yeah, revenge, that's a little crazy. That's nuts. Outright dude, that's outright crazy. Okay. 
had a little bit of practice since then, yeah. Raiden, Sundowner contacted you from the top floor. Yes. Time to make your way up there. Really? I, I had absolutely no desire to go to the top floor of this building. I spent all this time and effort getting to. All this rocket launcher and bullshit I don't really care about. Rocket launcher! But it's BP and I like BP. The elevators appear to be disabled, which we should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit. Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. Ooh, splendid idea! By all means, yes! I love the doctor. Hmm? It seems the guards are storming the building. Titan, get back to the entrance. Find me some time to get this elevator operational. Do not stray too far from the elevators, Raiden. Use the weapons around you to slow them down. Throw everything at them you can. I'm gonna throw at them my fucking sword. Is what I'm throw at them. Like that, fine. I'll get on the You can control that UGD as well, yes? Give them hell! Hey, right on arm. Uh, Ripper mode, pros, you cut through absolutely everything without the slightest hesitation. Cons, it's slightly harder to remember to grab the hearts, I guess. There's really, like... If you can remember to get the hearts, you can basically stay in Ripper mode indefinitely, but I find it... It really is just murder the fuck out of everything. Purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are that restricted hair. to like, the upper levels. It's so not as great with this frame rate, but room will be. Up top. What, what the hell is my hair doing exactly? But that elevator can only access the lower I never floor. remember to use it, basically. You need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to like, like, what the am I even moving? Like, what am I doing, like, guess. physically? Time to find another left hand. Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. Spoilers, it's it like the easiest thing no we've done this entire systems, game. Including a backup power supply. You will need to destroy all of the electrical control panels to disable them. In any so case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. This is a lot less work than it sounds like. The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. So yeah, ostensibly you can stealth the fuck out of this, but I've never really understood how. Also, because you can only use it absolute full. And... Kristab! There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Admittedly, this thing is a lot less work if you don't get caught. Run down, two to go. Keep at it, Raiden. There should be an electrical panel near I found you! No choice now! And that happens at times. It's really unfortunate. 
The other reason I don't use it is because sometimes you run to that problem where they blow up but they don't ever actually get vulnerable enough to let you kill them. Ah. Really? Stupid fucking What did that help? Excellent. Just one more. What did that even help Keep annoying? It doesn't happen because what happens is I'm cutting people up, but I'm not in blade mode. You just cut people up as if you were in blade mode. Fuck. What are camera angles? Uh, not all of them, but I got a good chunk. There we are. You can only do it remote from absolute full vitals, which is a pain in the ass, basically. Alright, you. There. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to um, locate it. Yeah, actually. So is the, yeah, like the geckos. Take care of security. Now, head back to the gate. Pretty much all of uh, everything now seems to be. I wanted the thingy. I want the, I want whatever thingy that was. Nano paste, okay. Well, I like nano paste, so there's that. Oh. You. Yeah. Gotta hate this. There we go. And that's how you handle that part. Theoretically, if you stealth it, it's a lot less of a pain in the ass, but I mean, I guess you get less battle points for it, and battle points are really important. Raiden, shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No, keep them off. I need it this way. Uh, well, as you wish. I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs, but you, well, your past is most, uh... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with First World ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average Third World child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them, they're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... 
This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. There's some I really good business, exposition. You do yours. Uh, yes. You guys don't want me to hit the codec button every five minutes. Like, if you play this game, you will not get everything out of it unless you hit the codec button and talk to everyone basically after anything important happens. But I do want to do it right now. Okay, we can. Boris! Do not have to fight every enemy you encounter, Raiden. Try and keep moving. No. What do you think about what Monsoon said earlier about memes? You think we're all doomed to follow some coded in routine? That there's no free will? Well, I totally can't. always going to have restraints based on what culture you're born into. The concept of memes was first proposed by Richard Dawkins. Holy yeah. fuck! I do not want to hear about Richard yeah, Dawkins that's talking that's about memes. Hey, Captain, you have so you rob a guy. Are... I think kids' parents are killed by other kids. There's guns. Dawkins run once you're and... right. Well, that's no. No, 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 no. If you want to listen to that, you can do it on your own fucking time. This is not the time to hear Richard Dawkins, Richard Dawkins' discussion of memes. Nice of them to blow open the door for me, yeah? <laughs> Idiots. Probably gotta be an achieve hidden achievement or something for actually bothering to kill everybody in this scene. Oh. You're gonna make me kill the fucking grad, aren't you? Why did I just die? I don't understand. Why did I die? Oh, I have to actually aim this myself, I guess? Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. This part doesn't make any sense. Good, Ryder. This cannot be. Right? What happened? You are supposed to be stronger than this. Because I used them Keep to jump. Keep like that. It will be much easier for you. What do you mean jump? Why? Why can I jump? Good, Ryder. Yes. Why can I jump? Running up a building. Right away, it's up now, yeah. Almost there. 
We're not Major even trying anymore. The latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. All right. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located Lerata. the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear Raiden. Now, head for the garden. So I should probably do the, like... I don't know. Sword fighting under cherry blossoms. Fuck everything. Um, because that's what heals me. Um, I basically I'm like a c cyborg ninja vampire. I have their not quite. They're like spines. And I always hit the wrong button there. I'm trying to do that. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Alright. Oh, for fuck's sake, I can't move. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna get my ass kicked by. This is ridiculous. I can't actually get. I'm getting juggled here. Hilariously, you can actually seem to pull before you even finish cutting, in some cases. Get off. Uh, the penalty for just mashing B is, I guess, you, you're not hitting other buttons. Honestly, it's not a big deal. Well, I suspect there's probably important shit in here. Should be doing is rooftop jumping. I could, but it's not really worth it. The timing on it be isn't really tight. The main exit is sealed. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you was connected to a corridor meant for transporting uh, materials. Down. You can take that to the elevator. What? Oh crap was that? And I didn't get the left arm. Ah, really? Really? Fucking Christ. Uh, the sky is a ceiling. 
Yes, it is painted. There's that's not a real moon, seeing as though there is an actual ceiling. Though I would not put it above Kojima to have a building that was not following the laws of physics, and neither should you really. Ah, no, 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 this is not the thing I want. This is bad. This one's bad. Fuck! Where's that devil? No, no! There we go. There. Yeah, Mastiffs are basically god-awful forever, and I hate them. So while I wouldn't normally run around looking for boxes, I actually learned after my last playthrough that some of these motherfuckers have health bonuses in them. And I don't really understand how I'm supposed to ever resist the possibility of a bonus, of bonus health. And the answer is, of course I'm not supposed to, because bonus health is awesome. It makes me die, like, half of a hit less. Oh, hey, we also get to explore, you know, the crazy, inexplicable Japanese area that exists because Kojima likes Japan. And how cool is that? Also, I don't actually have full red phosphorus grenades. He kind of is, isn't he? He just is sort of the epitome of... Let's be as Japan as possible. The hilarious thing is you love this area so 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 much, it goes up in the fucking DLC. Ah, that's what I was looking for. Oh, it's just 5,000 BP. Well, that's that's great. That's exactly what I was desperate for was 5,000 more BP. All right, follow the catwalk straight down. Hobby, the hold the fuck on to the of someone being all USA USA. Okay, I need you to hold on to that one very very closely. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that is your true nature. More or less. This you conversation. Understand? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, what is walking? then glad to have you along. Roger. You can reach the server room via the freight elevator just ahead. Oh! <laughs> 
And that's the problem side of Ripper mode, is you cannot be guaranteed you're gonna get the heart. And that's terrible. Oh look, health bonus. I went through the entire game last time not knowing these things existed. And that's terrible. No, you are not... You can only aim your slash in actual blade mode. And Ripper mode will actually kill things before... It will kill things without hurting them enough that you can that they, they're necessarily vulnerable to blade mode in a way where you can kill them. And... Okay, hold on. Fuck! Too dead, too dead, too dead. Okay. God damn it, Gecko, I wanted to use that last one. You're awful for denying me that. I know, but I never get the timing right on actually parrying the gecko. Like, I, I can't. Infinite elevator. Look up, Reifen! Another freight platform! Gex the Gecko was cool. That was a cool game. Look out! Incoming! So bad. It's just a, so it's a bit of a. You gotta be. Be some. It be is good enough. You little. Oh dear. Why did you ever think that was gonna be a good idea, guys? Careful, Raiden. The elevator cannot take much more of this. Come to that adjacent platform! Oh, the platform is losing speed! Scheiße! The drive pods are interfering! Scheiße! Gear them out of the shaft! Do not let them block the elevator! And there's that. Because that totally is exactly how elevators work.
They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevator. Your path to the server room leads right through them. Fucking hate hammer guys. I don't even care. I'm so fucking done with hammer guys. That happened. What even was that? Two grab happy motherfuckers and put them in the exact same level at the same time. And I, I don't think you can actually get out there faster than one hit. It's. Come on, you have one arm for fuck's sake. Really, really hate Mastiffs. Because they're awful forever. Wait. Wait, I'm confused. How can they be? Oh, that's why, because we go through. Oddly familiar. There we go. This is well. It's really good against mastiffs, to be honest. The server rooms ahead. Yes, according to what I have here. Oh, what should I expect this to find? Part. If they're VR training those brains, I'm guessing it won't look like your typical IT department. Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units. Feeding oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored, you know. They yes. will also need a server to feed them the VR data, but in terms of structure, it's really more brain storage and maintenance I than a server room. Most nonsensical no doubt it makes a convenient movement. euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah, like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank and file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the uh, truth of what they are doing. God. It's truly fascinating how the human brain Shut works. Shut up! So this, whatever room, that's where Sundowner's waiting, right? If he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, 
I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. Whatever. Much doing, dancing as I can make change. What's going to happen once I finally catch up with him? Oh, yeah. That wasn't the door, by the way. That was. The and now this fucking part. This fucking part. It's a really weird place to have this kind of part, if you ask me. Congratulations on having Chinese buffet. Can I really not buy it? Get out of the staff. Probably. There's an evacuation notice for the entire neighborhood. In can exactly have cities running. I mean, we bad. did this yeah. conversation already. Actually. Anyone, Smart plan. Those guys. Such a well, world marshals got an iron, but you can bet them once you've rescued those world marshals and demolished. Um, it's got yep. a guy. I anyway, the way I'm taking. Okay, let's go back to customization. I don't actually have the overpowered weapons. I just want to tell you something. Tell you a little secret. We're on a hard difficulty. I actually went to a different. But, let me aside. Need that. But we won't need it, because I did this before. Okay, that thing's powered up as far as it's gonna go. Is there actually any side related? No. Okay. Oh, I guess we should do that, shouldn't we? Yeah, it would be wrong of me to do this without... It would be probably inhumanly wrong of me to do this without, at some point, equipping that outfit. Suppose you're right. And I actually did not have any B that's terrible. I, I feel awful now. I don't actually have enough BP to afford the mariachi outfit. That's really unfortunate. I, I'm really sorry. Well, as soon as we get 20,000 BP, I will put it on. I am so sorry. I feel awful about this. I have failed you all. What? Miss Troll? No. A spear for the ears, I have to guess. Like he controlled by an AI. Oh, hey, we get to hear Miss Troll's theme again. The lyrics would have, the lyrics aren't gonna happen because one, those are Mistral's lyrics, and this is a body double. A very similar one, but one nonetheless. I keep wondering, is there a way to parry that or something, or do I just run from that? Like what am I missing here? I bought the transfer. It's. Hold on. That's because Mistral weapon is really good against Mistral for some reason. Yes. What the, what the hell? Wait, she just threw a bomb at me from down there. She's just throwing. She's not even jumping up top first. Oh, I guess that's what happens if you don't get all their arms. It's a 
interesting. Uh, Mr. All's weapon has one weakness as far as I've ever been able to see. Monsoon. That's the one time I would take that. See why I'm gonna use it in a second. We're so done here. At least there's nothing else awful that's going to happen. Yep. Head is Vermont soon? Well, as if AI controlled, it should pose no problem for you, yes? Oh boy. <laughs> Is the head. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mario is pretty low, you know? Yeah, I had a 95 combo on that fight. That's pretty cool. But this is the server room. Don't disrupt the students while class is in session. I believe you're familiar with the lesson plan. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world just got a bit too complicated. Doing it virtually, though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They can kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> They enjoy it, though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big joke every time. <laughs> yeah, but it sure makes sense to teach them. Shine a new body as a graduation present. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. Nothing I can do about it, sorry. Kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold. Manipulate it to perform in all kinds of atrocities. Yes. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. Huh. You just don't see the bigger picture, do you? I use double dashes too much to be upset about it. Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in the Suddenly car brains are again. Gone. We've got offices around the world. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots <laughs> are gone. <laughs> Those guys just managed the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? None of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11! What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. Raiden, get Sundowner. Do not lose him this time. So yeah, I, I never actually explored this room last time. So yeah, there's just brains in here, I guess. We could chill out here for the next three hours and see what happens. Wouldn't that be fun? I think it'd be fun. Yes, there is. Data storage! There actually is. We can do it. Let's do it. Yeah, we got more than 20,000 that last battle, so... It's time! Get Sundowner! Do not lose him this time! Um. 
let's go and uh... I'm really bad at running on things, I guess. Whatever, I don't need to go all the way back for 500 more BP. I, I don't know. Why aren't I? Very strange. It must, have some, it must not have clicked properly. Let's do that again. Apparently you can buy it without actually... He does, actually. Armstrong does run the most cohesive villain team. Period. End Riders, of story. Get there. Do we're now Mariachi. You could argue, actually, there is an exception. But he doesn't last long. There, there is one exception. And don't, don't... Alright. What the hell's going on over here? Is there a way to zoom? There's a dancing tripod over there. Dancing fucking tripods. up here without damaging the merchandise. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you is gonna take some time. Slow and painful. I think you're talking about the tripods here. It's a cool change. And I'm very in touch with my inner child. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about tripods. They're cartoonishly awesome. You can be cooler than that, Jack. Last time I did this play without understanding the mechanic at all. Explosive arm. Right. Keep your blade away from that shield. Your body should analyze it for it. Show you where to attack so it does not detonate. If you can only hit the right spot with your blade, maybe you can drop his job. Oh, that was bad. I'm fucking invincible. <laughs> Fuck! That was not all I wanted to have happen here. Damn it, why am I so bad at this timing? Oops. 
There we are. Shield's gone. First time I beat him, I didn't even touch the shield. But, let's be honest here. We want this part. I'll slit you in two. Shut the fuck up, you're going down. Wait, what? Ready for this shit? Come on! Shit. Oh, I can shoot. Is. Look at that! Look at the pile of sundowner on the fucking ground. Jack. What happens in three hours? He'll launch the operation to say. Who? Armstrong? I've already said too much. I have a call to make. <laughs> Got yourself shaving? Bits of it. Raiden here. I've taken Marshal HQ. Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. I will be there soon. Hurry. Right. What Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9-11 cannot be good. And in three hours, maybe less. He said even Mac 2 could not get there in time. Math if problem! So serious, that's... Math problem time. miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's gonna spike demand for PMCs, it's gotta be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The war on terror part two. Contact the military. Official channels are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial channels will take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Marshal? Then we have to get there first. Nevazmuzhna! Impossible! It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. 
It's not we have a, a solution. Game. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. Hmm. An RLV? That's... Is this Mark really the time for second life? We're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That will beat Pakistani. Under half an hour. Right. Contact Solus. Like this really the time? Yes, as you notice, we are in hard difficulty nowadays, which is pretty cool, I think. Also, the pincer blades are supposedly really good, but I don't even give a fuck about the pincer blades. So I'll buy them anyway, because I guess there is one spot in the game I don't mind using. PP you now to buy more life points. Oh well. There's one spot in the game I used them because I did not free my sword at all. And I needed them. Anyway, silence for Cardinal the most ridiculous like, excellent. We are cranking up the ridiculous in this cutscene. the space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s! Oh, oh, oh. Shit! This is a transport chopper! Our defensive options are limited! <laughs> Missiles incoming! I don't actually know. Uh. Strong enough to take out the drone. Here they come. I'll handle this. Raiden, have a nice flight. And people say Germans aren't funny. Every bit of dialogue. understand what All just right. happened. Bring the chopper around. Hey, fuck you, Kevin. The, but Maverick is Doctor isn't actually in Maverick. Shit again! Every time!
Platinum Games made Platinum Games made this, um, but they are an Eastern developer. Kojima specifically avoided a Western developer in the, in the concern that um, they would give. Uh, oh, hide in! Now we'll have to restart the mission. Sorry, my friend. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. That was quite the fall, Raiden. I'm glad to see that you are all right. It's time you got out of Denver. Yes, yes he does. He just survives. Fuck everything. Uh, they're worried that, um, if, he was worried that if he got a Western developer, they would, like, give Raiden, like, a fucking chainsaw or something. It was very important because even the team be about katanas. Well, a soul can't be cut, but apparently the rest of them can. Wait, are you still? Dude, really? Really, dude? What are you gonna do? Dude. Dude, come on. This is why those pure nano machines are a problem, man. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, he had a left arm worth grabbing. Are you all right? I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado, too. Yes, yeah. how completely convenient. Shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess she I'll really is the, the medic. Myself. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal, and what's left of it. I don't care. Go away, you annoying fucking man. Well, have you? Have you ever cut a soul to heaven? That didn't work well. Um, it is the same spot, actually. We're just going backwards now. We're running back the other way now. Yeah. 
The advertisements are back. It may be an RLB, but it still needs time to accelerate and decelerate from first cosmic velocity. It could require more than 30 minutes to get to Pakistan. I have no idea if you can stealth through here, to be honest. I don't know if there's some special way supposed to dodge these things, but they're really fucking annoying. What the? Push into it, you push into the attack. over here. I like items, let's grab items. Oh, DP. I have located the route with relatively light security. I will mark the heading this is on not a civilian radar. saving run because seriously, fuck doing. I did redid this when I did this the first time. It took me like 20 fucking times. Don't care, not fighting another grad. I nope. will join you in Pakistan. No civilian rescue. I will find a way to exit the helicopter. Proceed out of the city. I will contact you when I am on the ground. Because seriously, saving the civilian is a fucking bitch, and I'm never doing it again. Fun not fighting grass. That's fun. Man, Viva Pinata? Jesus, you're hardcore, huh? Damn. I like how you can just grab extra hearts even though it does absolutely nothing. Just do it. Hey, watermelons. I like watermelons. Who wants cut watermelon? That was fun. Time to open up this box here. I'm acknowledging 
Enemy behind you. Yeah, three masters at once. Nothing I can do about this. How the hell were you up at the ceiling that long? Not at all completely unfucking necessary. Why would you ever even think that? Most heavily guarded section, I think, of the entire game. You have escaped the pursuit? Seems like it. You have passed the last of the barricades. Save your strength. Find a vehicle. Right. I think we all do, Anna. That should do nicely. But I don't think we can handle that. I don't think the world can handle that. So, Cardori. The motorcycle, eh? Don't spoil it for anybody who hasn't, you know, who doesn't know, but that motorcycle. Yes, it is that motorcycle. <laughs> You'll see it again in a second if you need to catch up on. You, you wouldn't. You wouldn't know the bike. Yes, he actually... But did you do the DLC, Bridget? No, no, this is motorcycle is specifically important. Yeah, it's relevant to the DLC. We don't got time Everything for Evas. Okay on your side? I am out of Colorado airspace and nothing on the radar. Good. I'm almost there. So who wants a blade wolf? Who wants to fight blade wolf again? And Mr. Pixar face. Right. Having a little heart to heart. 
I have analyzed his words and actions. I am unable to ascertain his motivation. Ah, fancy meeting you here. You knew I'd come. I suppose I should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site. <laughs> well, not if you say it like that. For a hired it's one of killer. Them. You're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me. <laughs> Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. So I figure I might actually be able to beat this game by the time the end of the stream ends, so stay tuned and I will try to be as good at this as I can. I don't care who thinks I'm right. And I've got cause enough for killing you. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Must you really fight? I guess there are cutscenes, yeah. Well, whatever. We'll finish it off next week and that'll be... Don't interfere. This is between us. And it ends here. Okay. Let's dance! I have no idea how to dodge a second shot, I really don't. I don't spoil it. Fuck, hey, that's a bad carry. Wow, I never noticed that period before. Show me a good time, Jack. He gets no shits ever. Oh, who needs parry timers, right? What the? You can't kick. Holy fuck. Making me, I know! Timing this shit is fucking impossible! Oh 
Okay. Don't even touch him at all when he's doing that. Got it. No hit. I may have to actually redo this fight. Does anyone else have any... Maybe even... Uh, try it. Try this side. No, that's really not solving all of it. Oh, good. He's got his. He's just gonna grab his sword back now. Holy how are you Oh fuck me. I can't get out of the stun fast enough. Show me what you really Fucking truck is what he. I don't even want to know, but I can't imagine it's terrifically useful. Yes, he just winked at Blade Ball. He is dead. He barely had any cyborg enhancements. That's right. Was this outcome necessary? Evidence. Inconclusive. I guess even AIs don't know everything. It is likely no single correct answer exists. Additionally, human conflict stems from opposing ideals and societal norms. I was not programmed with these guidelines. You're better off figuring those out for yourself. ID locked. A VT-7 high-frequency blade. The efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My file indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam. 
<laughs> Going to bury it. Brad, you got some good lines. And there's not even a sting on it. Good boy. Take the sword. Right it. We have less than one hour. Hurry! Roger that. We're just gonna run now. What is a motorbike, really? Nope. No motorbike. Running only. We don't have the BP to customize. Edward Kenway is Coco, yes. Yes, they just left the bike sitting there. This scene is golden, though, and I would hate for anybody to miss this part. This guy is the true hero of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Guard. Are you, uh, Mr. Ryden, sir? <laughs> Where is she? I'll tell her you've arrived. Over here! How is this guy not hired? <laughs> story. Jake? <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> uh, I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry. Not really. It's okay. Follow me. It's okay. I mean, they're they're busy doing the setup. So exactly what kind of? You'll see. You built that? Yep. Time for the Metal Gear Kerbal Space Program. Lace ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> Interesting now that I have the soundtrack to Simpson when I play certain instrumentals. The flight plan is already set. You're good to go. Please switch off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no-smoking flight. <laughs> Roger. Ready for countdown. No Otakon contact. actually gets mentioned, actually. If I were sitting here hitting the codex constantly... If I was sitting here hitting the codex constantly, you'd know what happened to Otakon. But I'm not, because I have to save something for you guys playing this game yourself. Um, 2020? I don't actually remember the exact... I don't remember the exact specifics of the situation, Sam, but, um... Dr. Amicris, he's still around. He's just not... He didn't show up in these scenes, basically. <gasps> and yes, he's just gonna keep looking at his... You know, he has no idea what's going on. He is the best guard.
I will look up exactly what happened to him, and I will find out. No, no, gear. This is exactly four years after MGS4, so this is this is actually in the canon. Well, anything? Nothing. You sure we got the right place? Gotta be. It's the only base big enough with security contracted out to World Marshal. All right. I'm headed in. Oh, yeah. Fuck it, we're going, we're doing it. We are making this game happen. You see that? Their EXIF codes show up as unaffiliated. Wait, Marshall has the security contract for this base. Why would they have their cyborg set to the same illegal EXIF code as Desperado? It's evidence against them. No, it's their alibi. They're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on site, because everyone knows Desperado has a contract with... The Pakistani rebels! Ugh, but if we go public with the Desperado-Marshall connection... Won't matter. Not when they've got this nice big foreign threat all cooked up and ready to serve. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Remember WMDs in Iraq? Damn it, you're right. It's another slam dunk. What about any humans? No, please, please Marshall give us background, Dan. Security. Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked, if they needed them to keep up appearances. Uh, they'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. Not in this region. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. It wouldn't be difficult to keep things hush-hush. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. If I can destroy the antenna array, the U.S. military will know something's wrong. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone. And I blew the winds of destruction away. I'll be fine. <laughs> well, we right. can There is no time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower. What? Am I still using this It takes fucking forever if you get caught, and that, that just didn't have anything useful in it. Raiden, there is no time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower. We might actually have to somewhat stealth this. I'm as shocked and appalled as the rest of you, but... It will have to be done.
That takes a lot less time. Oh no! Wolf! Wolf? Wolf, what happened? Wolf! last time that there was only one giant robot fight and it was all the human beings. And you knew this game had to have The least intimidating man, you're going the least intimidating looking enemy in the game. Well, if it isn't Saucy Jack. Just a little too late. As usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. <laughs> Quickly, let's check the internet. Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. <laughs> How did they? Story leaked early, then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. God damn it, Internet! Bobby. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic. But nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism. Unilateralism. Materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit! The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. <laughs> We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're Most dramatic senator! Now. We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> And the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? DMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. 
Extremists! Lawless gangs! Madmen! <sighs> of course! That would have to include you! Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message! <laughs> He took off the jacket, which is my favorite part, you know? It has pedals. And a joystick. So do I, but... That would be the best thing. That would be literally the best thing. Uh, Moonstone, keep watching, and you'll understand that it was a little moot, actually. That's a little moot. I did. I hadn't actually noticed, to be honest. Besides, we hit a checkpoint, we'll be fine. health again will be fine. I know, but I was hoping to get a heal off of it, but since we died anyway, it doesn't really matter.
Yeah, he's basically just handing me food at this point. Come on, they're just weird cow robots, who cares? not trust Armstrong, but then again, you know, totally makes an excellent Civ 5 civilization. It goes right through the gecko, it doesn't give a shit. Oh, I get how you're supposed to dodge. Oh, I get it now. Okay. I did that wrong, but I get how you're supposed to act. You have to carry the double wand, you can jump the single. Are you ready for... Not quite a soup. Actually... Yes! We do suplex Metal Gear, I lie! the idea of armor I can't cut through. Now I can technically sit here and cut this thing forever. But we'll let it fall apart now.
Now all we have to do is... All we have to do is kill a, an unarmed man. Are you ready? Slippery little bastard! I don't have time for this. Come on. You ready? Are you ready to fight Sumo Senator? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Football. That's a cushy Ivy League school. Yes, he just broke my visor. Try University of Texas. Could have gone pro if I hadn't joined the Navy. I'm not one of those beltway pansies. I could break the president in two. With my bare hands! <laughs> Don't fuck with this, Senator! <laughs> There's actual fear in his eyes for the first time in the entire game! Come on, we got this. Oh, he just fucking exploded us. didn't get hit this time, thank god. <laughs> He's so happy he didn't get hit in the chin that... He got hit in the chin. Now the greatest presidential speech in all time. But all talk. What? Jumpstart the economy. What a load of bullshit! All you care about is lining your own pockets. And your approval rate. You've got no principles. Just like all the rest. America's gone to shit. You're just another maggot crawling in the pile. <laughs> All right. The truth, then. Uh, you're right about one thing. Uh, I do need capital. And votes. Wanna know why? I have a dream. What? <laughs> that one day, Every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it! 
A nation of action, not words ruled by strength, not committee. Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around. Where power and justice are back where they belong. In the hands of the people! Where every man is free to think, to act, for himself! Fuck all these lunatic lawyers and ticket shit bureaucrats! I just can't talk in this. Fuck this 24 7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit! <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Throw in punch! Fuck all of it! America's disease, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! Sort of? And from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! The weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? I <laughs> thought oh, the tone of his voice, like... You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! So I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe! Not for money, not for oil! Not for what they're told is right! Every man will be free to fight his own wars! This is like the best part right here. So, what do you think? How the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well, I don't write my own speeches. <laughs> you should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? He is so happy right now. He's gonna help I'll your ass up. This world of pointless wars, Jack. He's brushing you off. I was wrong. You're not greedy. You're insane! <laughs> That's a great part. Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the leaf, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours. I'm kind of interested in creating that farm system. 
Yeah, I'm pairing. This should be pointless. Yeah, you can't exactly parry this guy. <laughs> or punch him, or anything, really. X to accomplish nothing. Look at his health. We got him down at 96%? Yeah, because he's 95.7%. Yeah, we just gotta do that for the next 20 minutes and maybe we'll get here. Here comes this this moment. Nano machine, son. They hide in response to physical trauma. You can't hurt me, Jack. <laughs> what did I just say? Time to end this. so hard you got pushed down. You'll understand in a moment why it unlocked. Alright. I think we're about done here. Right. International incident. But if he beeps me, if I die here, the lock on my blade will disable after a couple hours. What happens after that is up to you, Wolfie. Ha! <laughs> Even dead, that guy's a pain in my ass. So... You think that little sword can save your master? <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? <laughs> However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here, would violate that directive. That's a good boy. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. No, no saying. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now. Created my own directives. 
And you missed, Armstrong. Invincible glasses in history. Come on. Okay. Let's dance. Oh yeah, he has 200% health, I just thought I'd bring that up. No, it's just hardcore enough to make it through the nano machine. Shit! This is actually be really bad. You gotta be a really fucking good player. That ain't gonna work. Cannot be. You're out of a present. You are supposed to be stronger than this. Pairing isn't useless. You just have to be really good at it. Ready or not, Jack. Here we go. What got me is this fucking bullshit. Fuck! This part hurts. I couldn't figure, I was trying to stand on, I was always a little, you know. I just don't know how to dodge half these fucking abilities, that's all. Okay. 
I did, I'm gonna have to learn to stop parrying and just do more defensive offense, clearly. This is gonna be ended really badly. Seriously, there is jack shit you can do about a lot of this stuff. No, 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 no! That ended for him. Ah, that's bad. You actually hit him for a good ton of them. Jesus Christ. Oh, thank God, we're at this part. Dixie, go look at Skype. What? Fuck! What's wrong? Come on, buddy, answer me! Write it? Write it! So you have to get at least two. Hey, do I have to do the full class? Yeah, there's no dodging that. I don't even know why he can explode. That's what I want to know. I know I can run under this, but I need the healing. Fuck! Normally I have at least a few. few. My, my, you see my hand slip there, like I had it and then my hand fucking slips? I'm gonna have to do this the cheesy way, aren't I? Surprise. 
that fucking attack. I mean, well, I, I have done this before. I mean, it's not... I admit, mean, the last time I did this, I had actual shit I could do about it. So I be careful. Clever shit. We'll be fine. Okay, that was... Why did it not let me parry that? No, 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 That thing is the absolute worst, and I fucking hate it. Okay, seriously, are you just gonna keep exploding here? Because fuck you. I think there's a check. So I think it's a checkpoint if I if I do the. There are. There are mid-fight checkpoints. I'm like 90% sure. And it misses. Fuck it. I'm just going to dodge under them next time. Because my hand keeps slipping at the last second. Alright. Not this shit again. And there was, I couldn't, it was, went the wrong way. Well, whatever. Can't actually use that weapon. You have no, the, the sub weapons would not hurt him. Like, you know, like, even if you theoretically had them, they, would, they wouldn't do anything, dude. Okay, I'm parrying and it's not doing shit. What's wrong? Come on, buddy, answer me. Right it? Right it! this right because I'll run under it too now. We're probably running under. I've never tried it before. Do I still get the health bonuses? I think, are you sure you're talking just going to keep doing this forever? I don't want to do this for another... Is 
I'm not sure I can do this entire thing without getting an extra bonus hit on him. Why am I always... Yeah, I'm gonna have to do the entire goddamn thing. I need to I need to nail that QT or this isn't gonna happen. And this, this is the last chance, I think. So after this I wanna get the game center. We're gonna get the game center here whether I win or lose. Wait, wait, no. Why? How do you still- he just gets to- you don't get to just stand in the fucking fire, okay, dude? Don't just stand in the fire and- I'm, I'm going over here, so you have to do the charge attack. Yeah. So Out of the fire, please. Thank you. Stop exploding, damn it. Cannot be. I. Right? What? what? Can't just... supposed to be strong anyway, I'll come back with nano pace next week, and we'll finish this off. You'll get to see the ending. But holy fuck, I can't finish this tonight. We're gonna show some ads. Show tomorrow's. Uh, Bubblegum Cinema, and you'll see the last part of Game Center CX, and <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking fight. I got it last time. <laughs>